If there was a worldwide vote of the yummiest potato dish, it's probably what we're going to cook now. It's called potato dauphinoise. It's French and uh, all you French people can tell me how it's pronounced it wrong. So what have we got to, in this recipe? It's very simple. We've got potatoes, we've got garlic, we've got cream, and we're gonna bake it in a dish. I'm not going to um, peel these, that'll take ages, but if there's any dodgy bits, like black bits, yeah, here we go, just cut them out. Or green bits, you wanna remove them. Um, that black bit there, just remove that out. Uh, get off all the loose bits of uh, dirt or skin that would come off. So what we're gonna do is just cut the bottom off the potato so it's not gonna roll around as we then cut the rest of it. And about three millimeter slices of potato and this is gonna be um, placed in the dish. And what we begin to do, we can use, get up all those there. Bit of a dodgy thick one there. Couple one layer. We're gonna have garlic. Should I even borrow that moving the skin? Bit of garlic. Sprinkle it around. And then what we're gonna do is pour a bit of cream on. You do a bit of milk. Some people make this dish totally with milk, some totally with the cream. I'm gonna have a bit of a mix. And then the next potato. Salt on. Oh, seem to run out of salt, sorry. Just gonna have to sprinkle that on instead. So for sprinkle a bit of salt on, that's yummy. And uh, a few herbs. Woo. This is where I might do another thing. I might just chop a few fun green spring onions just to add some garlicky thing to the onion. Now we can sprinkle those on. And then the next layer. Possibly a little bit of mustard. This is French mustard. So everything's a bit French um, on this. So just a little bit of mustard uh, onto, onto this. Spread it out so we don't get too much of a watch somewhere. Um, I'm just gonna have this in the middle layer. That'd be a nice surprise. This is uh, what I saw going on in Australia the other day. A bit of uh, vegetable cutting with scissors. Yeah, why not? And then another potato. Three or four layers. I think if you've got Four potatoes, you're probably gonna feed about six people. This dish would do as a side dish for about six. Pepper on the next layer. Yum, yum. One more layer to come, so this is gonna be under the top. Bit of milk. That is a big clove of garlic. Mahusif. Smell that. Smell your hands afterwards though. Ugh. Smell like that for days. Try and spread it around a bit. Nice green spring onion. They taste fairly garlicky. Could use chives. I think big onions would be too, too much. It would be too much of an onion dish. And one more layer of potato. Always makes good use of the cream. I'll put a bit of milk in there just to mix it up. Use that. Pour that over the top. So last thing to do, put a bit of grated cheese on top, take your grater, and what we're gonna do is just put a little layer of cheese. If you don't like cheese, just leave this bit out. Done. And now let's put this in the oven. Probably half an hour to an hour. I think that's about time's up. Let's uh, let's go and see what it's like. Oh, yum! Look at that. That cheese looks delicious. And uh, I'll get that out now. I think we'll start serving that up. Fill it pork with figs in, and um, some good old courgettes. All beautiful, with uh, cut, sliced, and then some sort of figs uh, put in between. A nice syrup over that. If you wanted it more creamy, you could uh, always have less, less milk, more just more cream. Um, this is fairly, fairly dry and not too creamy, um, but that is nice. Some uh, 
Always have your vegetables. So there we have it guys, uh, potato, cream, garlic and other bits and pieces. Yummy, yummy, yum. Can't wait to get tucking into this. Mm. What do you reckon this? Mm. Yummy. Yummy. Good. Mmm. That was delicious. Well, easy to make, easy to make. So you can have a go. Instagram your results. Let me know how you get on.